Welcome to Wake, wake up. up! Oh, actually, it's Weekend Wake Up. Weekend Wake Up. <gasps> Where we <sighs> try to wake up. Because <laughs> it's Saturday! Yay! Woo. But we want to start every one of our Weekend Wake Ups with a... Praise. Praise party. Praise party. Let's hear it. Praise party. Praise party. So I know you're moving what? at home. They are. They're going. Praise party. Praise party. <laughs> What's your praise? Put your praise out. Okay, so uh, one of the praise parties that I wanted, well, one of the testimonies I wanted to share today. Yes. Is we had someone in our congregation share that her job sent her home. She actually falls in the at-risk category for, um, you know, just uh, being susceptible to COVID. Okay. And so um, she shared with us, she'd been praying, and she shared with us that her job sent her home with pay, awesome. not to work from home, oh but they sent her home with pay to rest and relax so oh, that wow. when this whole thing blows over, she's raring to go and ready to go at her job back in the office. How amazing is that? Who does, who gets that? <laughs> who gets that? She's got a, she got a paid vacation in the midst of this global thing that we're all walking through. So that's amazing and it's only God. Welcome back. And I guess it would be really good if we introduced ourselves. Maybe. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Pastor Kelly. And I'm Pastor Holly. And we're so glad you're here with us today. We have a scripture for you today. We're going to go into John 14, 27, and it says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. See, there's a peace that the world tries to give us, mm -hmm. and there's answers, and, and there is a lot of stuff out there that says you can. this is how you can get, um, get peace, but it's way different than the peace that Jesus gives us. Amen. The, the peace that Jesus gives us is, is the peace that can change a storm yeah. in a minute because he is the Prince of Peace. So when Jesus comes on the scene in, in any situation, he, he is the Prince. And, and once he comes into that situation, peace comes immediately to that situation. What did he say? He said, peace be still. And the winds and the waves, they had to obey him because he was ruler over them. Um, the Bible says that he is our ever present help and in the time of need. So That's anything great. that we have going on in our lives, He is that help. He is that Prince of Peace for us. I remember um, when I had Logan and um, he was born this big chunky baby and um, the nurse um, was, you know, cleaning him off and stuff. And she said, um, have you guys ever had a sick baby? Mm -hmm. And uh, Jason's like, no. And she goes, well, yeah, this one thing no mom wants to hear. This is going to be a very sickly baby. Yeah, that's what she said. That's a leading question. <laughs> Have you ever had a sick baby? Wow. Um, you just don't realize the things that are being said, though, you know, right. like You're in, so, the, in, in the yeah. midst of, yeah. you know, just everything. Um, just had a baby. Just had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> so um, a couple hours or later that day, we find out that his belly room count was just really really high um to the point of they're like you i couldn't even have him in the in the my room, room with me you. he had to be kept in the nursery and under these um billy Ru uh reuben lights yes like a light therapy kind of thing they were only bringing him to me to um be fed nursed yeah. and um so that was just like maybe an hour you know every every three hours mm -hmm. he was being brought to me but then immediately taken back to the nursery um but how good is our God? He reminded us in the midst of all that, what that, yes. that nurse had really spoken over our baby. So we prayed that off, but also, um, you know, we just began to get the Holy Spirit's direction on what to do. And um, I remembered that Jason was like, I am going to go down there. I'm going to go in that nursery and I'm going to figure out a way that I can be with Logan the entire time. In the midst of him being down there, you know, here I am in my room. I had a C-section, so I can't really, I couldn't really move. I was having a hard time really recuperating and stuff. And I remember having all this, this anxiety and, and being anxious on the inside. And I had to call on my Prince of Peace in that moment mm -hmm. because I had nothing. There was nothing I could physically do. I right. couldn't get out of my bed and go to my baby. No. So I needed to know that he was being taken care of That's right. and that he would calm the storm. And he became, he, he became my peace. He became my everything in that moment. And everything ended up working out. It was a miracle, everything. But mostly what I wanted to share about that testimony is that when, when things are out of control and, and you can't control them, you can have peace in the midst of your storm. 
with Jesus. He says he'll give you his peace. He leaves it with you. It's not like the world, but he gives it to us. Well, and it's a peace really that you, you, you look back, whether it's in the midst of it or later on, and you are, you marvel that you were able to be so calm and collected in the midst of that. You're, you marvel that your human emotions don't take over. I remember um, you brought, you just made me think that we had our house on the market to sell for like a long time. Yes. And I don't know about you guys, but like compared to other houses we've sold, this eight month like thing was a long time for us. <laughs> it was a long time. Eight yeah. months was a long time to have it on the market yeah. and be showing it. And I'll never forget, we were up in Sedona hiking with the kids on spring break mm -hmm. and we got a phone call from our realtor that said, we have a buyer. And Scott and I looked at the contract, we prayed about it, we felt peace on it. Mm -hmm. We talked to the kids because they wanted a fast sell. They wanted a fast, like they didn't want to close in 30 days. They wanted a quicker okay. close. Okay. So what they were proposing, we were like, okay, we can do this. We've got this, right? And the following week, we were going to farm all the kids out to the grandparents and, and family members. And we were going to take our 25th wedding anniversary trip to Mexico. So we had a lot on our plate, but the kids were like, we can do this. Let's go for it. Mm -hmm. So um, we cut our, sh our spring break trip short and we went home and we packed up our house in two days. And come Monday, we loaded the plane and we farmed out the kids. We boarded the plane and we headed to Mexico. We know more land in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And our realtor, who's a family member, <laughs> called my husband while we were in baggage claim. Wow. She did not want to call me because she knew that this would probably be a damper for me. And so she called Scott and she, um, we're in the cab, we're driving to the hotel, okay? And he says, well, we have some unfortunate news concerning the house. And I just sat there and I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, he's like, it kind of fell through. And it didn't fall through just kind of, but it fell through in a very spectacular way in that the people tried like three different lenders and nobody would lend. Mm -hmm. I just sat there. I remember just going completely quiet and I just sat there. My entire house is packed. Our utilities are turned off. We plan to move into the rental when we got back. Mm -hmm. Literally when we land, um, utilities are supposed to be turned on in the rental. I don't have a stitch of anything in my kitchen that's not packed up and wow. you know taped up. Wow. We already had stuff in like, um, what it, storage containers. Yeah. And I just sat there and I said, okay, <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> but here's the thing, I wasn't gonna unpack. And, it, and that's yeah. not like me. You know that's not like me. No, it's not I'm like a you. very, very, I can be very OCD, very type A personality, and it would normally trip me up. And you know what? I sat there and I thought to myself, this house no longer has our name on it. I know that I know yeah. that I know that this house belongs to someone else. Yeah. And it didn't belong to those people. And we felt peace on what they wanted. It just fell through. Yeah. But I knew that I knew that it wasn't. And we went home and we lived on paperware for the next, probably, what was it? I think about three weeks, yeah. maybe four weeks. Yeah. And then that household and it went Praise smoothly God. and it went perfectly. And it fell in line with us being able to purchase the house we're in now. Do you know the house we're in now went down in price oh, wow. the week wow. before wow. our existing house closed? <laughs> so who, how, how God is that? So trust that, trust that peace when it comes from God, because he's going to set you up to um, step right into yes. the most amazing situation, but it's all because of his peace. It's not our peace. Exactly. It's not worked out in ourselves. That's right. Do you want to pray? I do want to pray. Okay. Father God, we just thank you. And we praise you for this amazing day. We thank you that you have a peace that passes our ability to understand in the moment, yes. but we're so gracious for it. And so I pray that every over every viewer that's listening today, that peace that is from you, that just gives them the knowing that they know that they know that they know that your hand is in it and that it's all going to be good. And they stand up and they declare over the situation, peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, oh, <laughs> share, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe. So, so, like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up. And give us um, some praise reports, right? We right. Wanna, we want right. to uh, share those on Saturday mornings. That's yes. kind of like our thing. It is. And let us know if you want us to call you by name.